Hello there, Acorns. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I apologize that I haven't uploaded anything to this channel in what seems like a really long time. I had plans to do a lot of videos with me and Granny singing because Granny is by far the most popular thing and, and we get a lot of requests for more Granny, more Granny, both on this channel and on uh, Celebrating Appalachian channel, Appalachia, and uh, probably even on the Presley Girls channel. Um, but I'll tell you something about Granny. Granny only wants to shoot a video if she's dressed up to go somewhere. So that kind of limits it to days when she either has a doctor's appointment or she's conned me into taking her to Walmart or somewhere like that, maybe Longhorn Steakhouse. Uh, on those days, unless you do the video before the trip, she's usually too tuckered out, uh, you know, after the trip to uh, do any singing or, or anything like that. But we'll try to do some of those if we can. It just occurred to me today, you know, we're well into October, and it just occurred to me today that I completely missed doing a tribute song to Hank Williams on his birthday back in September. I had reminders set up for his birthday, Ira Leuven's birthday, and Charlie Leuven's birthday that would pop up uh, in my Google email, but that was my work email, which I, I seldom go into anymore, so I didn't get any reminders or see any reminders. Um, we're well past that. I suppose I could do a belated birthday tribute to him. Um, while I was thinking about that and looking, I found out that uh, Marty Robbins, the great Marty Robbins, was also born in September, just a couple of years, I think, after Hank. And he's definitely one of my musical heroes also. I've never done any tributes to him, so maybe I should think about doing that. Um, I did one tribute once upon a time to uh, Dwight Yoakam. His birthday is in this month, October. Uh, I haven't checked, but it seems like it might be the 16th or something like that. So that's a possibility too. Uh, Dwight definitely has a large catalog of original songs to draw from, and hopefully I can find one that kind of suits me enough to uh, do a decent job on. Um, I wanna give you a little background on this channel. You may have already known this, but maybe some of you didn't. So I didn't start this channel. The, uh, the original days of the channel featured primarily me and Pat singing. Of course, Pat passed away in 2016. But my sister, Tipper, uh, she started this channel way back, I want to say maybe 2008. And uh, back then we had no idea how things would grow, not even on this channel, much less on the Celebrating Appalachian channel, which I think has well over a quarter of a million subscribers. Uh, once Tipper's focus, you know, started to shift to celebrating Appalachia, she really no longer uploaded to this channel. In fact, she hasn't uploaded to this channel in quite a few years. It's still under her email account, uh, which complicates things when I go to upload. Uh, if you're familiar with Google two-step verification, it can be a real pain uh, when, when, we're, when I'm trying to do that. But I do want to keep things going on this channel. I don't want to abandon the channel. Uh, it's been a great little channel. And, and a lot of folks from either the Presley Girl channel or the Celebrating Appalachia channel are discovering this channel and kind of coming over here and watching a few things. They don't go back that much into the old videos. But I think there are maybe over 300 videos on this channel, which is, you know, pretty, pretty significant, pretty considerable, I guess. Uh, looking forward about um, things to do on this channel. Um, of course, Pap is gone. Corey and Katie are very occupied with their newborns. And uh, so that kind of leaves me, musically speaking. Uh, I do make music with a gentleman named Jamie Shook, but he lives in Marietta and is only up here, you know, every now and then. And when he is up here, he's usually trying to take care of his, his mom, which is something, you know, I can relate to, of course. But I've been thinking about the channel and what kind of content could I do here. Um, <clears throat> let, me, let me say this first. The, uh, the Train Song series, which I think started in 2016, is supposed to begin, you know, next month. I have not filmed any, any videos for that. 
I have been thinking about ending that series. It's been a great series. I should have before I started this camera rolling. I should have counted up how many videos we've done in that series, but I will do a, a link in the description below to a playlist of all those videos. I've had some great times doing that, played with some really amazing musicians, enjoyed every minute of that. When I was starting the series, uh, I was talking to a local musician here, David Lydon, about the concept of it. And uh, I said, you know, I probably know 40 uh, train songs. And he was kind of taken aback, like, really? And that was pretty, pretty well true. Uh, but one thing that didn't occur to me is that I had already, or me and Pat or Corey and Katie or someone like, you know, some combination thereof, we had already uploaded a lot of those train songs. So I didn't want to repeat them. Um, as far as next month, I can think of four more, you know, four more train songs to do. I just haven't really fully committed to doing that. I definitely want to keep the story song series going, which is in March, because I really see no end to the amount of story songs that could be uploaded. And they're, they're just as much fun, if not even more fun than the train songs. Speaking of train songs, and you'll, you'll understand why I mentioned his name now in the title, I had kind of a minor thrill the other day when Katie, my niece, one of the Presley girls, showed me a text message in which Mr. Doyle Dykes had said he liked my guitar picking. That was a huge honor because if you're not familiar with Doyle Dykes, he is uh, one of the most skilled guitar players ever. Uh, I would put him up there in the company of folks like Tommy Emmanuel, Chet Atkins, that that level of, of playing. And um, of course, I'm nowhere near uh, even on the same planet or in the same universe as those guys, but I still really appreciated him saying that. Um, he is a fan, he and his wife actually, they watch Celebrating Appalachian. And they I think they also watch the Presley Girl channel. And in the text messages, Katie, who makes jewelry, custom jewelry, she was making some things Hopefully his wife is not seeing this and I'm not letting some cat out of the bag, but she was making some things for his wife that he was gonna to gift to his wife. And he just mentioned in passing that he liked my guitar playing. Like I said, that was, that was huge for me. Um, speaking of Doyle Dykes, uh, you should check out his channel. I stumbled upon it several months ago and he, he uploads every Sunday a program, I think it's called String Along, Sunday String Along, instead of Sing Along, which is kind of clever. And it features him and usually his daughter and his son-in-law. And you know how much I love family music, of course, because that's, that's what I've done um, music-wise and been blessed to experience. Well, you can go to that channel, like I said, every Sunday uh, and hear some great music. Not only that, but actually a lot of good gospel uh, because every Sunday, Mr. Dykes also uh, does kind of a study in the Word. You know, he, he reads from the Bible, and uh, I've, I've really enjoyed that, honestly, uh, just as much as the picking. So I want to put a shout out there. There's a jet coming over outside. I want to put a shout out there for his channel. Now, uh, to kind of connect the two, uh, Doyle Dykes, uh, I heard him say one time that the way he got on the Grand Ole Opry was playing the Wabash Cannonball. Now you may think, oh yeah, everybody's heard the Wabash Cannonball. You need to hear Doyle Dykes play it as an instrumental because it's, it's really cool, it's really good, and he has this really sweet thing he discovered somehow, I don't know how, never heard anybody else do it, where he reaches past the nut of the guitar, so the nut is the little plastic thing, little bridge sort of, sometimes they're bone, at the end of, of the guitar that the strings run across. So he reaches beyond that in between the nut and the pegs and he pushes down on a couple of strings as he plucks them down here. He is a finger style guitar player, uh, Travis style, if you're familiar with that term. So he pushes those down and he plucks and son of a gun if it doesn't make a really cool train sound. And he works that into playing the Wabash Cannonball. Um, in one way, I hate for the train series to end with sort of no resolution to just kind of die with a whimper, so to speak, and, and go out. I mean, last year's series was great, 
but it would be awesome to do some sort of um, finale. So Dual Dykes, if you happen to be watching this, I would love to, uh, to come to where you are and try to sing the Wabash Cannonball, have you play it, and let that be the big finale to the Train Song series. I know you're super busy. You're unlike me, you're a professional musician. Uh, I'm retired now, you know, I have a lot more time. So definitely, I won't be the least bit offended if you're not interested in doing that, but that would be kind of a dream come true for me. And I think the folks on this Blind Pig channel would really eat that up and it would be, like I said, a fantastic way to wrap up the Train Song series. Enough about the Train Song series. As I mentioned, I am retired now, so in theory, I should be uploading a lot more, right? Well, I haven't lived in this house, my house, since Pat passed away. Uh, I've kept my work clothes here, I've showered here, I've done certain things here, but I've primarily lived with Granny and, uh, you know, slept there and, and cooked her meals and things like that. And, taking care of her. So the Millsap Quartet that you've seen on this channel, um, fantastic quartet, Millsap family, I should say. Uh, I was talking with Scott, who's the bass singer, about recording them. And I would consider it an honor to record them. Um, since they're all gospel, I would also see it as a, as a very small thing that I could do for the Lord, helping spread the word, um, the, the gospel. Um, because he's certainly done more for me than I could ever comprehend, and I've been so blessed. So in order to do that, to record them, this is my recording studio, this house right here. Uh, I had to do some major work down here, so I, had to, I took all the furniture out of this house, put it in my garage, put down new floors, and I'm still putting everything back in and kind of cleaning things up. Um, they're waiting on their youngest member, Scott's nephew, Luke. Can't remember if his dad is possibly Craig, but one of the other uh, brothers of the quartet is Luke's father. They're waiting on Luke to finish his degree. He's, he's working on going into medicine right now. And he's too busy, of course, while he's doing his studies. So we're looking a year down the road, but I knew I had to get started on this project right now because it's, it's a major project to to redo a house that has been kind of neglected for about eight years, just the cleaning level alone. Um, but in that process too, a goal that I had was to set up a place, which is actually just out of frame here to my left, set up a place that could be my standard place where I shoot videos. And that way I'm not setting up and breaking down every time I wanna make a video or trying to figure out what, what should be my background, where should I film? So I kind of have that and um, I hope to, Lord willing, maybe do some weekly uploads. The concept that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with is Old Timey Tuesdays. So every Tuesday there would be a, a video where I just sit down by myself and sing a really old song. When I say Old Timey, I mean probably somewhere from the 20s up to about 1980. That's a pretty big time frame, but kind of classic Old Timey country music, bluegrass music, what have you. I might occasionally get back into some kind of ballad that's even older than that. Um, now, before I start that, I would like to have several videos kind of made ahead, several weeks ahead, so in case something happened, you know, I didn't miss a Tuesday. I was also thinking about uh, doing, uh, maybe not every week, but every other week, like Original Wednesday or Original Thursday. And on those days, I would perform a, an original song of mine, an original song of Paps, uh, or an original song of a friend of mine, because I have a lot of friends who have written some great songs too. And so then you'd kind of have both, sort of cover cover songs and original songs. Uh, it's obviously much harder to do original songs because you haven't heard someone else professionally do that and produce it in a studio. And um, really, uh, when you do original tunes you're, on YouTube, you're not gonna get many views. People can't search for something that they don't even know exists. But at the same time, I would like to do both old songs and newer songs, original songs. That's kind of my plan. Um, I've also thought about doing some, some different things in the studio. You know, Pap and I, of course, sang harmony together. And uh, outside of singing with Jamie Shook here and there, 
I, you know, I don't, I don't have that opportunity anymore to sing harmony with someone. And uh, great solo singing is, is fantastic. But after a while, just solo, no matter how good it is, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like a, a hamburger with no fries or a hamburger with nothing on it. You know, that harmony is really, to me, what makes uh, music special when you're talking about vocals. So another idea that I, I had that I might do is to take recordings that have already been made of various people, whether that be um, someone that I know personally or someone famous, and just go in the studio and set up the camera and try to, he try to sing harmony with their recording. By no means would I be thinking that I might improve upon what they've already done. It just might be interesting to viewers like you to hear someone sing a harmony part uh, with, with those recordings. And I thought, I think I'll be brave enough to do this. I thought it might, might also be interesting for the viewers after the video or toward the end of the video to hear the harmony vocal that I've done in isolation and hear what that sounds like. Because if you've never heard a harmony part completely by itself, you might be surprised um, how, how strange it sounds to, uh, to sing where you're not on the lead notes. So I do have several ideas, things to do on this uh, channel. I think I would enjoy them. Um, there's still other things that, uh, that I've wanted to do from way back that I still haven't done. I, I still wanna make a separate channel for the Words of Life broadcast that my dad and his brother did for so many years and upload their, uh, the sermons and the music from those broadcasts. I have a whole shoebox full of cassettes. So those wouldn't be videos, it would just be audio only with you know, a still picture, but still wanna do that. Um, I had also mentioned that I will eventually upload the entire album, uh, Words of Life album to this site, so uh, this channel, so people can hear it from beginning to end with no commentary or interruptions. So I still hope to do that. We also have plans to hopefully sell the original issues that we have left. We have, I'd say between 40 and 50 original issue Words of Life albums. There's no need in them sitting here in a box any longer where they've been for 50 years. I'd like to get them out there in the world and vinyl has kind of made a comeback. So now's a good time to do that. Um, I may start to promote my own music a little bit more here. When I say my own, you know, my music that I did of uh, Paps music, really my recordings I did of Paps music. So you may see me start to show more CDs here and talk about how to order them, uh, how to download them, all that good stuff. Uh, I sure hope my camera hasn't died because I've been talking for a long time, but I hope you enjoyed this update and I hope to uh, have a new video with some actual music very soon. Thank you.